Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Max AC channel. To celebrate the spooky season, for the month of October, we will be doing Spooktober, where we will be making five more recipes that will surely be frightening and delicious. For this episode, we continue the spooky celebration with a refreshing and ghoulish recipe, Berry Eyeball Punch. <laughs> For this recipe, you will need three cups of blackberries, one can of lychees, as well as the syrup, one to two lemons, or about a quarter cup or so of lemon juice, two cups or so of acai juice, one cup or so of blueberry juice cocktail, some blueberries, three cups or so of lemon lime soda, and if you want to add some spirits to the spooky concoction, you may add a cup or so of rum vodka, soju, or any other clear liquor. First, we'll want to use the lychee syrup. So grab your can of lychees and separate the fruit from the syrup. Reserve the syrup and place the fruit in the fridge for later use. Then, if you need to, juice your lemons at this time as well. Then, to a blender, add in your blackberries, lychee syrup, and lemon juice, and, well, blend. Once that's done, strain this concoction into a pitcher or bowl through a strainer or sieve, making sure to squeeze through all of the juice. Then to the pitcher, add the acai juice and blueberry juice and give that a mix. Refrigerate this until it has chilled about two hours or so. While we wait, we'll create the lychee eyeballs. Grab your lychee and blueberries, and to create the eye, gently push a blueberry into the cavity of each lychee. I recommend stuffing the lychee first with a few small blueberries and then finishing off with a large blueberry with the stem sides facing outward. That way the eyeball will look fuller and more realistic. Just be careful when doing so as it's pretty easy to tear the lychee flesh if you're not careful. Once your eyes are ready, place them in the fridge or freezer until you are ready to serve the drink. Then when you're ready to party, pour your fruit drink mixture into your punch bowl of choice, add in the eyeballs and some ice if desired. Then, gently stir in the lemon-lime soda and spirit if using. Toss in your dry ice for some smoky ambiance, and your berry eyeball punch is ready to drink. Last year I went to a friend's Halloween party and we had made this drink for us to enjoy and I thought that it would be a perfect recipe to share for this month's theme. We also haven't done a drink recipe in a while as well, 
so I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity to do so. The main reason this recipe caught my eye was, well, just that. I love the use of the lychee and blueberries to create a pretty convincing eyeball substitute. I always love Halloween recipes that have little things like this that make it more spooky, especially if it's also edible. Speaking of which, the dry ice is technically edible and isn't poisonous since it's just solid CO2, but I wouldn't try to eat it since it's very cold, negative 110 degrees Fahrenheit cold. So unless you want to get freezer burn in your mouth and down your esophagus, I would just wait a couple minutes for the dry ice to sublimate before serving the drink. Also, because dry ice sublimates quickly, I recommend waiting to get it until at most a day before you want to serve the drink. Otherwise, if you wait too long, your dry ice will quite literally go up in smoke. This recipe actually comes from the Food Network, so I wanted to test out the original brew before experimenting with other ingredients. But if you wanted to make this potion more to your taste, you are more than welcome to do so. For instance, you can easily substitute in other fruit juices like pomegranate or cranberry juice. Pretty much everything in this recipe can be adjusted to your liking. You can even swap the drink entirely and use another drink recipe, such as sparkling lime matcha or some lemonade. Or you can keep it simple by using some pre-made juice drink. Though I would recommend keeping the lychee eyeballs to keep the spook factor up. I guess you could substitute them for gummy eyeballs if you have them lying around. But then that's not really much of a recipe, is it? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. In the comments below, let me know how it went if you decided to make it. And let me know if there's anything you want to make next. Like the video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes of the Max AC channel. And remember, if you want to stay cool in the kitchen, turn your AC to the max and watch the Max AC channel. Lychee, lychee, leeches, same difference.